What's going on everybody? Another power review from Refined Fire Chilies. You see that website there? It'll also be in the description. We'll jump right into this guy here. This is called a Sweet Datil. D-A-T-I-L. Capsicum chinense. The, 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 the dill pepper is a hot habanero type whose organ unknown. It is grown mostly in central Florida for sauces and condiments. The sweet detail has the same fruitiness of the tail, but no heat. It is very productive, producing peppers about a half inch wide and two inches long. And it just talks about how it goes from green, orange to red and gets about three to four feet, which is kind of cool. So no heat. And I really don't like habaneros that much. But what's interesting is that, I mean, a Catholic Janins, Usually all of those have heat. Well, I want to see what this guy's about. Make sure there's not a lot of seeds in there. No, not really. A couple. Let's get those out of there. Mess up the flavor profile. Get some more of that flesh in there. Right. Um, well, that was a, right away it tastes like a habanero, and then it didn't have that aftertaste of habanero, but you can still tell it's in the hab family. It, well, it did have somewhat of like a fruity taste, and, but again, not, not that overpowering habanero taste that I don't really care for. Uh, it's a decent pepper. I can see how it could be used. Um, I'd like to see if there's a yellow variation of that. Um, the yellow sweet dolly, the tell or whatever, but I don't, I don't know, but a decent pepper for cooking wit. Uh, I, I've never heard of it. I actually live in central Florida, but it's probably in in food that I've eaten. So I don't know, but, um, yeah, if it's not really hot, I probably wouldn't know about it. Right. Uh, but decent pepper, man, probably worth someone growing for if they want that habanero taste without the heat. And, uh, it's not like that. I don't know about bitter, but that, that taste I don't care for from a hab, but again, not bad. This is the second habanero I've eaten in a row. That's actually pretty good. So anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe later.